Okay, for the start of the demonstration phase of, of the video, I'm, I will demonstrate the remote control cap capabilities of the vehicle from the uh, remote control station. Right? Currently, I'm just kind of slowly move, moving the vehicle to the track itself. As you see, I, I have full control of the vehicle. I'm just kind of playing right now. But I have full control of the vehicle. There's, it, it does work in varying speeds. So it's not just one sing single speed, one under joystick control. Okay. Now if I flip this switch up, now I have camera control. I can move the camera in all different directions, full, full rotation, until it hits one of the uh, stops, where it just stops, where I can no longer move it in that uh, direction. Okay. Now for now, I'm just going to leave the camera. Go back to the joystick control in the actual vehicle itself, and I'm going to position it on the track. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Am I on track? Since, okay. since I don't have the camera working, I can't well, see you'll find exactly you'll where get it is. An error code if you did. Okay. Now, when I switch to autonomous mode, okay, two things are going to happen. The camera it, itself is going to is going to drive itself into into the stops, and then it will position itself so it's looking straight ahead along the forward axis of, of the vehicle it, it itself. Then the autonomous program will take over. If the vehicle is on the track, if at least one of the uh, optical sensors senses the tape track, then it will start moving. If it does not, then it will send back an error code and I will have to re reposition the uh, vehicle. Okay? Here we go with autonomous mode. See the camera homes itself, drives itself into the stops and homes itself, and we are on the track and moving. Okay, now I'll be in autonomous mode, just to show you that in the case something, it's obviously following the track, but in the case something comes just temporarily, uh, you notice how it stopped and then it continues to move. Here's one more time, it happens kind of quickly. Well, this time I have, I have, I have held it on there for too long, so we're going to have to stop and reset. Okay, here we go again. Camera's gonna home itself. And start the autonomous mode. I'll show you quickly. That's what it does. Uh, I'm also gonna show you that when it does come to the vehicle, it's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go to the to the left. It should right now. It should turn to the left. See the vehicle. See the object. Come turn to the right. Go straight until it passes the object. Turn again and continue on on its path. And it'll, it'll keep going. Now, in the case that there is something to the right, to, to the other side, I'm going to flag it. And then it's going to come back. And it's going to, you got to try to go again. It's going to go around to the other side. And it's going to, and it's going to come back on the track. Now, the reason the vehicle right now is not necessarily following the track is Again, we, we have a fairly cheap motors and, and so it is having a very difficult time on this, on this type of surface. Uh, unfortunately, over here at ODU, we didn't really have a, much of an option of where we, can, uh, where we can do this. But on this type of the surface, it's having a difficult time turning. Uh, but it will, it will get itself back uh, slowly but surely. It, it, it will get where it's supposed to go. As you can see right now, it's getting is getting better on getting on a track. Uh, I also want to show you that uh, what it's going to do, if it, if it, stop, if it tries to go around the object and uh, at a certain point it sees something else in front of the track, right now it's going to try to go, it's going to try to go to the left and let's say I do that. Right now uh, it's going to give an error signal back to the remote control station at which point the vehicle will stay at this position for as long as it has to until he takes control and he puts the vehicle, he can either back it up and put it back and try again, or what he can do is he can just go ahead and go around it right now. Okay, currently our error signal is just four, four lights. That's we have, oh. Currently our error signal is four, is four lights, and right now the remote control unit is stuck 
until I flip this switch back to uh, remote. Once I flip back to remote, now I have control of the vehicle again. I can reposition the vehicle. I can clear the object. I can come around the object. Come back on the track. Switch it back to autonomous mode. Once again, the camera homes itself. And, uh, and it continues onward. And it keeps going. And uh, that is... Uh, that is our senior project. Now, uh, as uh, as we said before, there is a lot of things that this vehicle, uh, that this vehicle can potential that it can do. Uh, however, in, uh, in this short amount of time, and both of us uh, uh, working and, and going to school full time, it is uh, we don't have much time to spend as much as we would like to. But this is definitely something that can be improved on. And I guess one other, one other object of, of note on this project, when it's in autonomous mode, the camera control has been disabled. It will remain in that position until, uh, until the autonomous mode it has been turned off. Uh, uh, and to turn off the autonomous mode, like I said before, all I have to do is just flip the switch down. And now I have control via the joystick again. I can, re I can reposition it back to autonomous mode. The camera will home. And there we go. Right back on the track again. And I definitely would agree with, with, with my partner. The jerky motion is, this surface is not very con conducive to this type of vehicle. Yes. Uh, or for this vehicle design. Yes. When we have assembled and, and did all of this, we did it on a little different though, surface. Uh, a little bit smoother. Yes, but uh, once we upgrade the motors and a, and a track, uh, it should be able to work on a more than one surface, if you will. And that's it. I guess that we out.